Bird 232, uh, right heading 235, and report localizer established runway 27 left, Speed Bird uh, 232. Welcome everybody into another video of my channel. Today it's going to be a tutorial for the TFDI 717 MCDU and startup procedures has been requested from the previous, I think, two or three videos of flight. So without further ado, let's jump in. So we are currently inside the aircraft and it is cold and dark. So first of all, the iPad will be stowed or actually installed and you just need to install it back exterior ground power unit and jump into the overhead panel so pass your switch to on external power to on emergency power to arm i'm gonna jump into the irises and put them to nav let's do nav light logo light and no smoking light and seat belt light, emergency light to arm. And let's squeeze ourselves to the MCDU down and wait for it to initialize. So, one neat feature of this aircraft is having the checklist or any other documents that you want while you're in the cockpit. So, here we have the whole checklist that you can see and go through while you're flying basically without actually exiting the simulator or jumping to another document here and there. So, very neat feature. While we're waiting for the IRS to initialize and the MCDU to come live, I'm gonna go to the TFDI manager and send my payload and my fuels to the aircraft. So we're still waiting for the MCTU to initialize and here we go. So I want to do one more thing just to get the wind information, weather information to actually see Charlie what Whiskey, is the Tango, Quebec, airport right runway Tango, for one, us. Two, zero, zero, Zulu, weather, wind, two, two, four, at six, visibility, one, zero, sky can. So I might actually use runway 28 for our flight today and we'll see how we do it. So flight plan initialization and here we are today we are going to fly from Toronto in Canada to, to actually from Montreal, Canada to Toronto, Canada. So let me add some lights here. Okay, that's good. So we're flying today Charlie Yankee Uniform Lima to Charlie Yankee Yankee Zulu. And we get that going on. You will have the I align irises message here so initialize irises our alternate today will be Charlie Yankee Delta sorry Charlie Yankee Zulu Delta and flight number will go TF 541 cruising altitude I have the numbers 360 Coast index of 350 and we shall go to next page. Plug fuel is 12,000 and for the remaining numbers we can go ahead and exit the documents section, head to stats and we can see zero fuel weight of 97.2 so 9 or 7 point two on the zero fuel weight and that will populate every box 
except the last two which we can go here and see 24.1 center of gravity numbers so 24.1 and we are good to go we're gonna head to the takeoff and approach uh, menu and we're today doing uh, 48 degrees celsius as a flex temp So that puts us almost 1.43 on the upper. Slope, we have no slope simulated on prepared, so zero. And headwind, I would say six knots. And one note here, you guys can actually put a negative and you'll have a tailwind there. So we don't have that. Okay, outside temperature we can look and cheat through the other MCDU and have progress page there and you can see the temperature and you'll have to go 1.8 celsius and here you go flaps to 13 one three and we will have the numbers so one for one three point two on the step so one for one and squeeze down there hit config and go 3.2 on this step so we'll assume initial altitude of 6000 And I already have the parametric pressure of 2909 or 2, which is standard. Gonna have VORs. So, with that finished, we're gonna have flight plan. Select our departure airport. Hit set. And although we're not using any sets, that's is what the menu selection is. So, we will depart runway 28 using no sets and we're gonna insert that so the numbers I got we have pop key and I have the fire plan done by PFPX so pop key multi Tourney and that was it so usually we're not doing an approach that early but just for the purpose of demonstration I'm gonna do my arrival stars and we're gonna be landing hopefully runway 2 for right so ILS 2 for right and we're gonna go rigid 3 insert that and remove any discontinuities there and here we go okay with that is done we are good to go basically to do and I'm, 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 I'm telling you guys I'm not an, an expert when it comes to the 717 so doing the checklist fast and dirty so bear in mind it with me on this matter so to start the APU we're gonna go aft right center fuel pump to on APU master switch to run then start and we can see the APU RPM once the, the APU is actually energized there so you guys might even hear the APU spooling and this is by the way Fly Tampa Montreal Airport scenery 
So we get that going. RPM is 100%. So we can go if you gentle on. Gonna okay. So if you gentle on external power to off, if you air to on, and we're gonna leave the packs to off, and we're gonna put the isolation valve to open to prepare for the engine startup. So next we are ready to go so we probably should remove or disconnect the ground power unit set the parking brake and call for pushback so prepare for pushback and departure we're gonna use UPS or FedEx straight pushback and no Just to be sure that we have everything is set up here. So for pushback, we already have left and right hydraulic pumps on. We're gonna go trans and aux to on. We're gonna go fuel pumps to on. We don't have any center fuel. Uh, running on the center tanks so we don't need those so we can release the parking brake beacon light can come on so engine number two and fuel cutoff switch to on let me assume that we got squat code there so N2 is Ryzen so 23 and we have ignition And I do really like those engine sounds and you can hear the low bass, high bass with them. So I do really like them. So start cut out. Let's go engine number one. Fuel cut up switch to on. Set park and brake 23. We should have ignition and we have ignition. So AGC is rising. We're stable in number two. We're just waiting for the and one to stabilize there. Okay, start to cut out. And we can go ahead and head left engine on and right engine generators to on, which they were already there. So what's coming next is lift back, right pack to auto. Ice protection is not needed for this flight. We'll go windshield anti-ice to on. 
and I'm gonna have my weather radar set to turbulence and tilt it for above and we'll go with a radar for a taxi checklist will be so this is terrain we'll go weather for a taxi checklist will be flaps 13 so here we have flaps 13 spoilers will be armed takeoff speed is one for one and that is confirmed and verified stabilizer trim 3.2 unit and once we are cleared to taxi we should have nose light go to taxi and this is it and one word that I learned from the 707 flying here is that uh, once we are airborne we're gonna switch off the APU and once we are clear flaps we're gonna switch off the trans and ox uh, hydraulic pumps so you have you guys have to put that into mind so here you guys have it an MCDU tutorial and a startup procedure I hope you guys liked it so if you did please like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.